your your actions basically are met by whatever circumstances you come up against. Yesterday, they came up against terrible circumstances. They overcame it. They were absolutely heroes. Uh, they did everything they could to save that child's life and the life of her father. I'm thinking of my own family, my, my nieces, my nephews, my own, child, my own children, and I would not want any family member to lose their child. I don't think any family member should lose their child, so that's, I think any officer, and again, I'm sure any of the officers on the scene would have done the same thing. I know my brothers and sisters would have done it, and that's what, we just saw her, we picked her up and her father and took her to the hospital. It all happened very fast, so we just had to make that rash decision of, you know, whether to take her or whether to wait a little bit, and you know, we noticed that the father wanted us to take her. We noticed that we needed to make that decision. Make sure she's okay, I'll put her water, she responded. Um, she cried a little bit, but she saw blood on her hand, that was about it. But other than that, she was a trooper. The ride felt long, not gonna lie, it felt long. I, I'm sure you guys can attest. Um, but we made it there, I think in under five minutes, maybe four. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't be any happier that right away, the, uh, I think it was the supervisor of the hospital, you know, came out to us and let her know that, let us know that she was in stable condition. So, I mean, at any given second, who knows how much longer it would have taken, she could have been in a different condition. But, you know, we're doing our best out here to, you know, make the community as safe as possible and trying to make our reactions as best as possible and as quick as possible to, you know, in the end, save human life. So. This is the kind of act that, that these officers do citywide by the Chicago Police Department every day.